Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a CrossCall Wallace H test. Uh, I won't go much into how to read this output, for that check my companion website mentioned in the description below. To generate the output, however, simply click on Analyze, then select Non-Parametric Tests, and although it's also possible to perform it in the Legacy Dialogs, I highly recommend using the newer option, the Independent Samples. Click on the Fields tab, select the variable on which you want to split the data on, in this case the location of the student, and move that to the Group section. And then the variable on which you want to look into where there were any differences, in this case mm, the teacher was able to motivate me, move that to the Test fields. Then click on Settings, select Customize Tests, and then check the CrossCall Wallace One-Way ANOVA case samples and then click on Run. Now in the output we immediately see to reject a null hypothesis based on a 0 0.05 significance level because our significance is actually 0 0.000. So that means it's very low and there seems to be some kind of influence of the location on the motivation by the teacher. Double click on this output and you will actually get something known as the model viewer. Here on the left you will actually see the long list if you have had multiple variables in one go. And on the right then for each of those the results. So you can if you had multiple you can click on one of them and then the results for that one will appear here. There were 54 uh, participants. Uh, the test statistics is around 21. Uh, the degrees of freedom is 2 because we had three categories minus one is 2. And again the significance is shown. Note that the test statistic is actually adjusted for ties. Now, under View, you can actually select pairwise comparisons, and you will then actually see which of the uh, groups were actually significantly different from each other. In my case, look for the adjusted significance. It's adjusted by Bonferroni correction. Rotterdam and Demon are significantly different from each other. Harlem and Demon are significantly different from each other, and Rotterdam and Harlem are not. Now, to see which one ranked highest, we can simply look at these numbers next to each of the locations in this case, and these are the average ranks or mean ranks, and we can see that it's the highest for Demon and the lowest for Rotterdam, and Harlem was in between. So, Demon is significantly different from the other two, but these two were not significantly different from each other. Now a high rank is not necessarily a good thing, you need to check how it's actually coded. So remember that Demon had the highest rank, but let's check in the data. So I'll go back to my data file, into the variable view, scroll down to the variable that I was using, and in this case 1 was fully disagree and 5 was fully agree. So a high average rank would mean that they're more towards the higher value here. So if this would have been coded the other way around, then uh, so that uh, 5 would have been fully disagree, then a high average rank would mean that most people would disagree with it in that group. Now, in this case it isn't. It's 1 is fully disagree and 5 is fully agree. So, um, yeah, in this case the demon, the students seem to uh, be more towards the agree part than the other locations. Now you might get, when you get to this pairwise comparison, you might get a small error that it's not possible. Uh, in that case, please check out my other video below uh, where I show you how you might be able to resolve that issue. 